guys hey guys welcome back to my channel hope everybody is well so guys my known as to the hop roar going on on the internet and i'm gonna just jump straight into it so guys this one have to do with lady anna blessing of the floor auntie donna and you know i worry for other social media platforms who have had their two cents in what's going on however guys it all started with Naculet, who is a very big donor in Auntie Dana's camp. So when Auntie Dana was going off of charity for a little bit, she did send a few of her donors out and suggested a couple of other charity that they could have donated to during the time she was not doing charity. Anyway, Naculet is one of Dana's big donors. She's one of them who donate a lot of money to the platform to people to get help. However, guys, one of the, the, the platforms disrespected her that was blessing of the floor and she came out onto social media to express it and let the world know that she got disrespected a certain way and she wasn't too fond of it. She went over Ashanti's page first to address it and send out voice note and then she went to Lady V, she went to quite a other few people and she expressed how she felt. On that voice note, she said some things about Jamaicans being that, you know, she's upset. She said some things that were not acceptable towards Jamaicans, but she apologized and she is forgiven so guys out of anger she said what she said anyways that was because of what lady anna said to her and what lady anna called her in voice notes she naculet said that she don't like 99.9 .9 jamaica and this and that but however she corrected that and said she meant not 99.9 percent .9%, but you know she didn't mean it like that and she apologized for what she said anyway blessing of the flow now is the one that must disrespect her a certain way and she never liked it blessing of the flow came out on her life and she said quite a few things she called her a monkey she said she said she didn't call her a monkey but the reference that she made nakele took it up and said that she's not a monkey and because nakele took it up and said that she's not a monkey i guess blessing of the flow said okay since you're gonna pick it up you a baby monkey and she called the lady a baby monkey which is not right no in no way our farm and she went along she carried on to disrespect her in certain ways she's saying that here in her teeth and a oh, whole bunch of you know disrespectful things she said and to be honest it's not acceptable and the way how she portrayed herself during that life is not acceptable but everybody make mistakes and everybody acts impulsive when they're upset that's why it's not good to speak when you are upset it's always good to calm down before you address a situation and of course guys blessing of the flow has received plenty of gifts from Naculet. Naculet explained that she sent blessing of the flow that's anna his and hers watches expensive watch for her and her husband she sent her how much thousand dollar laptop she sent her money 200 dollar in gift for uh, our wedding and she sent lexi things as well that is blessing as a flow adopted daughter and a whole bunch of things she explained that she also fund anna's businesses and you know, she's always sending money and helping. And whenever Anna is on her lives and she's doing anything at all, marathon or any little business or any little cookout, she is always the one to call in and donate because she likes to donate and help. Anyways, guys, she felt really disrespected by the things that Lady Anna was saying about her and to her and the way she was, you know, handling her. Because she also was saying that she and Anna had developed a, a, a good relationship so she kind of never expect that but at the end of the day when people fall out things are said and things are going to be said whether right or wrong so that's what looked like transpired anyway lady anna addressed it in a way where it could have done better and you know it's just sad that she had to come out on a donor like that. She put out the donor's information out there, her address, her name and everything, which is uncalled for in my humble opinion, because that person, that donor put her trust in you. 
she trusted you to send you her information to send you you know private information send you donations using her correct name using her address and you know so forth and it's not right that when you and that person get into any local cast gas you put out the person information that mean you're not trustworthy that mean when people do business with you it's a risk because if anything should happen or if anything should go down that you dislike a certain you know uh comment or anything you're gonna just go out there and put out people's information that's not good business oh so guys auntie donna came out and she addressed the situation she came out and she came out strong a lot of them said she came out strong and some say that it was it was fit for the situation based on what happened now guys there is like a balance there because you know auntie dana is the the mama of this this whole phone charity your yeah, other people might have done it but not on the broad spectrum that auntie dana did it she did it way bigger than anybody else who had started it or initiated it she was the one who bring it to the forefront the way that she did and did it the way she did no anna she kind of mirrors what auntie Dana's do and that should be a good thing because you know we, if we have more auntie Dana's in a lot of the chat in a lot of the parishes in jamaica i think things could be a little bit much better a little better for on people you know if you have one auntie Dana in each parish so Lady Anna was doing what Auntie Dana was doing and nothing is wrong with that. However, Auntie Dana came out and she addresses the situation and she let it be known that she is very, very upset with the way that things went down between Nakulet and Lady Anna and that it shouldn't have happened because as a donor, they put their trust in you and you shouldn't put out their information. You shouldn't disrespect them certain ways and it's just unacceptable. Of course, you know, Auntie Dana went out and she talked about bugger things. Some things could have left unsaid. But then, when people address things in a hot and irate manner, that's what happened. Sometimes it's best we wait, calm down, think, and then we address. But anyways, being the mama of this thing, she go, we, we expected her to come out. Being the fact that she was the one who sent Nakalet to that platform, she, we expected her to came out. Some of, some of the things she said wasn't she didn't say anything wrong it's just how she came off especially when she said that a lot of little ticky ticky pick up uh this charity thing i mean she could have worded it better but we know she she mean no harm but she could have worded it better because at the end of the day when we're scolding somebody or when we're trying to reach out to somebody and talk to somebody is there's like a thin line there's a thing that you have to you have to understand that if you come off too hard or too harsh or too forceful, that person might not, you know, listen to what you have to say. That person might um basically just shut out everything you have to say because of how it came off. The message is not bad, but the way the message came could have been delivered differently. So Anna took to her life and addressed back Auntie Dana. And a lot of things and you know it's just weird and it's sad that that have to go down like that because auntie dana was the one who nominated anna to get nominated to get um an award so we must we can understand we are upset she she must be the fact that she nominate anna and then anna came out and act like that so after that, you know, Princess Bashore, the CEO of this whole um, award show, she came out and she disqualified Anna from getting the award. Now, that is so sad. And a lot of people have mixed feelings about that because a lot of people came out on social media. And some are saying that she should not have taken, withdraw the award from Anna. And some are saying that Anna deserved to be withdrawn from the show altogether. Well, that's now, ladies um, and gentlemen, that's people, that, that, that is people's opinions and everybody have their own opinion and what they think and what should happen. And that's what social media is. I think it's kind of split. Some is saying that they should not have took her, took her off the, the show and some is saying that she didn't put the car off. So Lady Brusher came out and she made a statement, a public statement, and she said that Anna is disqualified from the show 
because of the behavior that she portrayed on her life a couple of days ago. So guys, with that said, we saw where Lady Anna put out a message or a letter where she, it is basically reading from it, it seems as if she had withdrawn herself because in the letter it read that she is glad for the, the, the awardee and she's happy for the consideration but she won't be able to make it on the 25. Now we don't know the date and the timeline on that. We don't know if it was during this whole thing. We don't know if it was, if it was before she came on social media with the brawl or it was after. We are not sure. So that letter, if it is before, then we... A lot of people are saying that Anna is the one who withdraw herself. But if it is after, people are saying that it's Lady Princess, for sure, who disqualified her from the show so guys with no further ado on a person for yourself guys there's a lot more to say about this but i'm going to stop here all i'm going to say is that on social media we need to respect ourselves more we need to look into things and take things into perspective and we need to think before we talk and think before we act because every action will have a reaction and most times consequences and in this case lady anna her consequence is that she is not going to be on the award show anymore and it is very sad because she has been doing a good job over there we're gonna split justice here everybody have their good side and their bad side everybody have them good ways and them bad ways and lady anna she is doing a good thing she did what she's doing is good and what Auntie Dana is doing is good as well, helping people, helping to the, the less fortunate, you know. They're both doing the same things. It's just that the devil know how to come and steal and destroy. The devil know when something good is about to happen, then come and creep up and show them ugly face. And I think that is what happened in Lady Anna case. That is what happened. The devil see that something good was about to happen to her. And he came and he steal and he destroy. But all in all, at the end of the day, we must hold ourselves responsible. We must hold ourselves responsible for our actions. And every action have a reaction. And that is that. And then I came out and she spoke strongly about it. And Lady Anna was not too fond of the way Auntie Dana came out and spoke about it. A lot of people are saying the same thing. Some are saying Auntie Dana could have, you know, scold her or address her a little better. Because, you know, when you had a boss into some, you know, something, it's, you know, some of the time approach is very important. How you approach a situation. Because Auntie Dana says she's going to unfollow her. I don't think she needed to unfollow her. I needed to say that because you are the mama in this thing so it's okay to scold somebody it's okay to come out and address something without saying you're going to unfollow them next you know because i mean you're you she's following you and you see that she's mirroring you and you see that she's inspired by what you do and she's basically trying to do what you're doing so in a case like this where she come out and she did wrong major wrong it's okay to come out and talk to her it's okay to come out and address her and it's okay to scold her but it's, it's, you have to know how we do it and we must take into consideration that even though she did wrong, when you're talking to her, you have to come out in a way where it, she will accept it or, you know, it won't go through one ears and run through the other because of how it was delivered. Not saying that Auntie Dana is doing anything wrong. We know what she went out to do. She don't mean bad. She have good intention in talking to Anna. But it's just probably the way it come out. And I'm sure Anna have good intentions in what she's doing, helping people. But it's the way how she addresses the life, addresses her donor. It was unacceptable. And in this case, everybody need to look into themselves and see how things could have done better. And how they're going to move on now. So with no further ado, guys, and a better for yourself, stay safe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Bye.